Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I'm choosing to rejoice and I'm choosing to be glad in it. It is a winning Wednesday here in the faith room for Pastor Nate. Come on in, everybody, and let's get ready for a great session here in the faith room on today. Remember, we are real people with real concerns, but we're here every single day, Monday through Friday, that is, to find real solutions for all of our lives. So come on in as we do every single morning. We greet each other with a good morning. Once we say good morning, as you're doing right now, as you're doing right now, the next thing you do is you declare your day. We believe that life and death is in the power of our tongue and we decree and we declare what type of day we're going to have. And then once we do that, we begin the process of tagging and sharing. All right. We're going to do it in that order. And uh, we're getting ready for another great time today here in the faith room. OK, so I've declared my day a winning Wednesday, as I've done every Wednesday. I've declared that I'm winning today, y'all. And then now I will begin the process of tagging and sharing. OK, so y'all come on in and greet each other. And uh, once you once you do that, go ahead and follow the order that we laid out. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. I see you coming in uh, today. Uh, let me go ahead and share this to my page. And then I will tag and share. Good morning. That's it. All right. And then uh, go ahead and declare your day. For those who've spoken, go ahead now and declare uh, your day. Okay. Now I'm going to tag on my end and uh, get as many people in here as we can. Let me tell y'all this. The tag may be annoying in the beginning for some people, maybe very annoying to them, but trust me, y'all, this whole entire platform was created. It was built by God. It was sustained by God. And one of the responsibilities that we had to walk in, right? Faith without works is dead. was number one, we had to show up. But then number two, we had to tag and share consistently, all right? And so that's what I want you to do. Don't think it's for nothing, okay? That tag and share is a powerful tool uh, that we have. And I, I'm doing that right now. Uh, some people will come in. Some people will say, hey, I'm good. I'm already in. That's fine. Uh, tag and share, ladies and gentlemen, all right? All right. Good morning, Natasha. Win, 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 no matter what. That's it. That's it, my sister. Win, 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 no matter what. Got winning on my mind. That's good. All right, come on in here. All right. Let's see who's coming in. Mother Dorothy, I see you. Corinthia, good morning. Uh, already done Wednesday. Corinthia, I received that. Ruby Barnes, good morning. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Good morning. Y'all are coming in. I'm so grateful to see it. Marcia Brown is in the building. Uh, on YouTube, Apostle Brian Harris, preaching machine and visionary. What's up, man? Uh, Tori Collins is in the building. Tori, your post took me out yesterday, girl. Oh, no, it was it was uh, it was Wawa's post that took me out yesterday. Wawa, when you uh, Wawa posted yesterday, I got to go find it and uh, I'll find it, Wawa, and then let you know. But it took me out, girl. It came up on my feed. It's all good. Tracy Lewis, already great. Already great. I received that. Jermaine JJ Jones, good to see you. And Jatoria, Matt Harding. What's going on? Won't he do it Wednesday? Y'all, come on. Y'all get it. Y'all, I'm encouraged by these. Carolyn Donerson, what's going on over there in the YouTube world? All right. Good deal. Y'all, come on in here. Aline Love, good morning to you, sis. All right, y'all. Um, the co-host will be in shortly, and then we're going to Get right to our question of the day. Uh, I was out yesterday. I had breakfast meeting yesterday. And then I had a funeral yesterday, and that funeral just drained me. One of our, one of our men, uh, one of our man cavers, man, faithful to God, 
uh, gave his life to Christ um, at Man Cave and uh, just died suddenly, uh, died suddenly, gone, just like that uh, in his 50s. And uh, so we had that service yesterday. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all, and, and I don't know if y'all, but those slide shows, those slide presentations, what's up, Shariva? Um, they be taking me out, man. And they did a slide presentation that kind of just took me. Oh, God, it just took me there, y'all. And uh, I want to thank my leaders who were there or with me yesterday uh, and rest in love to our brother uh, and our friend who was who was just an encouragement to me. I, I was reading text messages from Mike who just would send me text messages to with him in his struggles, man, he was encouraging me as his pastor, man. So yesterday was a tough day for me. Uh, what's up, Antoinette Gant, Shimmy Shim, B. Givens. All right, Latoya, I love the slideshow. It's memory lane, man, Toy. And if they have that, that music that, oh my goodness, that music be taking me out. What's up, Ree? Hey. Yeah, that slide, them slideshow, sis. And they be picking that music. What did they do that song yesterday? Uh, I forget. But one of my man cavers, we we laid him to rest yesterday. Yeah, I heard you. Died suddenly, Cherie. Just died. One sick. Gone. So, I, I, you know, so yesterday just processing that. And then, uh, yeah, just, just. They, they did a slideshow with him talking and t telling his family, I love y'all. He said, you know, I love y'all. Mom, I love you. Then he's, he had two female. He was the only boy, so he had sisters. Okay. So him, I love y'all. I look better than y'all. So it was funny. I was crying and laughing the whole time. So it was a reflection love. of his life, who he was. His life, yeah. Mike Wooten, man. God bless you, brother. Rest in love, man. Wow. Right. Janie Howard, good morning. Cherie, this is the hot tamale mother at our church. She passed out boxes of hot tamales on Sundays. That's uh, my that's one of my favorite candies. Listen to me, sis. Hot tamales, Mike and Ike's. Let me if I start it. in on, on hot tamales, it's a wrap. I can't yeah, I, gotta, I got to eat the whole box. Child, I was at be hurting after after the fact, all that sugar. But honey, listen. I'm at the funeral yesterday going in in the pulpit. I'm Jeff. No, nah, ain't no way to eat them in no pulpit now, Nate. Sheree, like, you got to do this, Sheree. Nah, I'm not. I got to be free to chew like I need to chew. Look, Sheree. I... How do you keep, uh, it take too long. Hey, my jaw, my jaw hurting this morning, child. Uh, that's probably why my jaw pain this morning. But uh, it's just, I, the movement of the face. Hey, I, I can't hide that in the <laughs> uh, Jerry, the movement of the face. But then you gotta try to get the fragments out your teeth. Yeah. Out them back teeth. You got some red. Oh, you gotta do this too. You know, you gotta Yeah, I can't do all that in the pulpit. I can't. It's certain stuff. I I got yeah. Corn, I can't eat in front of others because I go in. Corn, corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Oh, corn on the cob. Do you they clean that bad boy? Way to eat that. Do you clean it? I try. <laughs> Are you the type, Cherie, when you bite it, do you do this? Suck the juice. I don't you? suck no cob. I just eat the corn. But you know, when you bite, if it's some juicy, good corn. That's what I'm saying. Go get it. The What they call it, the milk. No, I don't do that. There's some corn, and everybody's crazy about it. It's supposed to be so sweet. It's called Esau corn. And one of our... Um, Esau corn. Esau. It's very sweet. Maybe I took... So, they, you know, I can't eat corn right now. So, they bring it to us at work. I think one of our deacons that's a farmer. Mm -hmm. He brings it by the loads. And I took some to my daddy. He's still talking about it. Wow. So, okay. So you can... You can so he I boiled guess. it and he then he got okay. some that he, he fried corn. My daddy made it all kind of way. Wow. I'm a corn guy. I like corn. Yeah, um, I love corn. That sweet corn. 
with that, yeah, put that butter on there and uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, we had a breakfast at um oh yeah, I'm gonna say this because she's sure right that church is church chicken. chicken corn. Oh, oh, my, corn my, cup. oh my Sharif. I don't remember. Oh, a toy. In that little yellow bag. Oh, Sheree, you pull it out. That butter just dripped. Wow. Your artery's just like, uh, <laughs> you ain't going to do that to me, are you? Yes, I am, sir. I'm going in. Yes, indeed. Church's chicken. A lot of them are closing down here. Do y'all have church's chicken? Y'all got churches? They closed. Yeah, a lot of I was in, listen. I almost had a wreck. I was in St. Louis and I saw Church's Chicken. I almost so here's the thing. I was it was either Church's Chicken or Steak and Shake, child, because they know steak. So I had to. I went with Steak and Shake. Yeah, the 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 better of the two evils. They looking at it. They write a call. I'm like, why y'all so close? We used to have Steak and Shake here, off McCain. Them steak burgers be swinging. Be swiping. I wasn't a fan. Um, y'all got probably say y'all got three. I guess three churches chicken. I ain't see. Well, tell me what they are. I, I remember the one by the church. Oh, in National City. Okay, they helping me out. Okay, see? they got one left in National City. Y'all about to go make me get a corn. That's all I wanted. Seven Harbison. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, them breasts be, them chicken wings be like this. But we be eating them. We be so going in, hot sauce and everything. Uh-uh, hot sauce, but I got to have the pepper, Doc. Give me my jalapeno peppers. Because I'm going to squeeze that juice. Here you, this how you do. Squeeze the juice. Come on. All over the chicken. Then when you get ready to eat your chicken, this is, you got to first bite the pepper. Come on here. Chicken. And that's not a hot pepper. It's more of a it's a taste it's a of vinegary pepper. with yeah. a little kick. But I got to have a jalapeno. I got it. Yeah. Now here's what I did. I'm doing this now with Popeyes. I done watched this crazy boy on YouTube. The boy who put that whole biscuit in his mouth and was eating. You really tried that? I no, I didn't do the biscuit. Oh. But he did the honey with the hot sauce on the chicken. Cherie. The honey on the chicken? Come here, Cherie. Come here. And I know the greens and ketchup mess you up. I know. <laughs> Spread that honey. Cherie, look at your little brother. Spread that honey on that chicken. And then doss it in that hot. Cherie, listen to me. I, I don't even like honey. But put that honey on that chicken. See, so, I, yeah. Okay. I like the honey on the biscuit. But I guess it's the same thing. Have you tried Canada Steak Burgers yet? No, I have not. Thank you for let me write that down because you know me. Places to go. We will try it one time. I had Cherie try them greens and ketchup. We'll do it one time. Just to see. Richard Miller said he do the hot sauce. Kamani, hot sauce and honey. Yeah. Yeah. Honey on chicken. They he said try, so I guess. It's fine. Okay. Thank y'all for your help on that. Cause you Honey know, on fried chicken. With that hot sauce, Cherie. Michelle but, said honey hot sauce and ketchup. I ain't tried the ketchup, Michelle, but I'll go there, girl. Well, wonderful savior. Glory to God. Y'all got me thinking about chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Faith <laughs> room. Girl, they had to be thinking about some fried chicken. Yeah, and I really you know, Pearl was like, oh, you just tried that pasta? Are you really from the South? I just tried it, Pearl. Because well, from the South, what? you know. I ain't doing. never tried it. So, and I've been down here all my life. Jay, you Ooh. know what's up? Jay Denise is fire. Uh, 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 uh. Hot sauce, barbecue sauce, and ranch. Okay, good deal. All right. Kamani Love, you're in a competition. I keep seeing it on Facebook. What what you doing, girl? She in second place, whatever it is. I okay. think Love. the deadline is Thursday. Kamani, uh, what you got going on? We'll see. Can we put it in the comment? Uh, everybody talk about their hot sauce and chicken. My TV is so loud. I don't hear it, sis. 
like I heard that yard man the other day. <laughs> oh, you should have heard him when he got up on top of my house, just walking. I was like, why is he walking so hard? He going to fall through my house. Is that your regular yard man? No, this was somebody I hired to cut my tree limbs. Come on, Ree. Come on, girl. That was recommended by my yard man. Yeah, them trees, yeah. I got tired of them squirrels jumping on top of my house, walking. They feet sound so big. Next year, about this time, your husband will be doing your yard. She hey! said, I'm trying to win 10K and the chance to design my own shoe with Nike. Hey, hey! Shoe surgeon. All right, let's go to 10K. Let's go. Oh, not walk a 10K, win 10K. She's trying to win some money. Let's go, girl. And a chance to design her own shoe with Nike. But what are you having to do? I guess she's already designed something. I don't know. Well, that's good. And I guess maybe the people got to Hey, vote. Cherie, I could use $10,000 right now. Uh, come on now. And can you? Please. I'm just telling. I'm telling what been getting me through lately, though. And I ain't sent you no crazy ones yet, but I got one to send you today. Oh, what them uh, them little reels, man. I'm sorry, that be getting me through. So there's one I saw yesterday, Faith Room. This man, maybe y'all saw it. He riding behind an armored truck. <laughs> he said, "Lord, if you love me, let the dough flow." <laughs> Oh God. Oh Lord, Lord, Lord. If we ain't laughing, sure we're gonna we gonna be the took that jump, girl. I'd be tripping, boy. Honey, listen. With all <laughs> the things going on. Man. You gotta laugh to keep from crying. Ain't that what they said? Yeah. It's a I did a post yesterday. It's a stomach virus going around San Diego. So many of my partners, stomach virus. There's one here. A stomach virus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was coming through yesterday, and then um, people, you know, uh, blood clot, just stuff. I said, Lord, let me go on and get ahead of this. I ain't letting that get in my spirit. Listen, get, yeah. Not today, baby. We just have to make sure we do our part by getting checked and yeah, continuing with the exercising and drinking our water and all the drinking things. Well. Drinking water. Uh huh. Just wanted. To, I wanted to hear it. Story. The mm -hmm. direct TV guy fell through our roof one day before Thanksgiving. I was so mad. Oh my! Ask him if he was okay because I had to go through Thanksgiving with a hole in my roof. Yeah, he was walking a little hard, but I was like, "Now look." So I did. I went outside. I just did. Like I looked up there at him. Like, what? What are you doing? As if to say, you make it too much noise. You bro. keeping up to us. Uh, in the, this how we said, are you keeping up too much racket up there? <clears throat> yeah. Fail yeah, through. I just, say nothing. I just looked at him and uh, let him finish. Fail through that thing. Lord Jesus. Mighty God. Let's read. Let me um, ask if there are any first timers. I haven't done that yet. All right. If you're here for the first time, do us a favor. Type in the number one. Uh, let us know where you're watching from and who invited you in the room. In that order. Let All right. If you're here for the first time. And in that order. In that order, please. All right. First timers. Let me see it. Did I tag any first timers today? Let me see. I don't think I did. Let me see. Yes. You did? Good. Yeah, I did. Uh, first timers. I met a, I was getting off the flight on coming back on a uh, Saturday and I, I met two TSA agents, started a conversation with them and they were in church the next day, child. And I wanted to call them out. They came. Just I be stopping them people. Oh, man. wow. And they came Sunday. I didn't, I, I saw one, but I, she said, please, if I come, please don't call me out. If you do it, I will never come back again. You know me. You did it? No. I said, great oh. life. She, but I was doing like this with my eyes. She in here, y'all. And uh, like pointed. <laughs> but then the other one messaged me that she was there. Okay. She so, said, you know, I need it. so when you acknowledge first timers, do you do you have them wave their hand or something? 
Yeah, they. I have them all to stand up at the same time, and we just go in and go crazy clapping for them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I try to I don't know I try to do uh, le- things that will make them feel the least bit of embarrassment because I know. But they, they couldn't have come up. Remember when we were growing up, when you would go to a church and you were visiting, you had to stand up and say something. Oh yes. No, I don't do that. No. I think I that, when I do I, when I do it, I just ask them to wave their hands. Raise your hands. Wave your hands. Yeah. If you want to stand up, you can. But now pastor going to ask me to stand up. I just, I, mean, I know folks just be, some people don't like all that attention on them. Exactly. You're right. I, we've been averaging, Sherry, I don't know where St. Luke's been at. We've been averaging about last com- uh, stats I got last couple of weeks ago, 14 visitors every Sunday. So people first are- time? Four, First time? Visitors? First time. 14. Okay. We're averaging 14 every Sunday. Wow. It's crazy. And I'm seeing more and more families coming, coming back. Yeah, I've seen that. We had um, a family that they were he, they were there, but they said like to the back. And so pastor said he talked to them and they said they have been watching virtually like forever since the pandemic. This was their first time. Wow. Coming to the church and in person is so much better. You told the people your pastor coming to the meetup. Did you tell them? I told them yesterday. I sure hell. Don't forget that L. Don't forget we, the L. <laughs> we in a text thread. Sheree was like, add that L to his name. Please, thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, y'all. Meet up 24. Y'all get out there and register. Come on now. I think we're nearing 50 registered early registration so Already. far. Uh-huh. One week is good. 54. Yeah, but it ain't been a week yet. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, y'all get out there and register. And let me tell y'all this now. Quit tripping, because y'all could do payment arrangements with through that whatever that company is. What is it? A Shereen? firm. A firm. Mm-hmm. Ain't no excuse. None whatsoever. A hundred D, baby. I was telling them to go on and secure their seat. You know, even if you don't have the whole 125, go on and get, get on that payment, the um, installments. So that, don't try to wait till you got it all at one time, because you may not have no seat. You may miss it. Man. Yeah. Let's do it, y'all. Um, listen, Kamani said, I met a girl at the nail shop the other day. She just moved to Cali, and she is in the faith room <laughs> on YouTube. Cool. She's in here now? Wow. I didn't see any first-timers either, by the way. Yeah, I didn't either, Cherie. They must be uh, coming in slow. Jan Chapman in the building. I just had to buy a tire yesterday for four hundred dollars. Um, I don't know. They talking about something else. No, what y'all talking about here, y'all? When I say sidebar, be on fleet. Y'all on the other side of the living room. I be having to read before I put them up because I'm like, this ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about. And then yeah. we be looking stupid because we don't know what they talking. About. We be gone. Antoinette say excited for the meetup. All my babysitters going too. But I'm oh, going to- <laughs> well, I'm gonna find a way. Everybody that would keep our kids, they coming. They coming to the meetup. That's what's up. But we pray now, you I, find somebody. Let me do the math. 50 minus 18 is what? What? 50 minus 18. Fit, look, 50 minus uh-huh. Carry the one, carry. My mom would be like, carry the two, carry the one, carry. 30, what I put? 32? That's how many spots are left for a conversation. Oh. With the oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Larry, there are only 32. Y'all playing with this. On, ladies, listen to me. There are only 32. We had 50 last week at the beginning. And uh, there are only 32 slots left for conversation with the co host. They helping us. We don't, we slot. Carry the one. Carry the here's here's uh, Kamani's person that she's talking about. What's up? Andrea. Welcome. Welcome her, y'all. Kamani said she's shy, and so she didn't want to say nothing, but she went on and spoke up. Welcome to the faith room. Kamani is an evangelist. (laughs) They ain't shy. Here we go with the welcomes. Where do I go to get my ticket again? Nate, is the we need to pin the link to the top of our uh Yes. Facebook page, so they don't have to we scroll. Do. Yeah. 
Larry, put the link in the uh, Larry Shields. Yeah, if you uh, put it in there yesterday. If he's on here, would you put the live link here? It's there. It is. Let's go. Let's go. The live link just appeared in the chat. Whoever asked that question, y'all come on and register today. Happy birthday to Renee Holmes, youngest baby boy. Onyx. Onyx. Twelve. Oh, walking up on that teenage. Uh huh. My God. <laughs> you remember when Rodney was I almost still a teen? All right. Let's go ahead and get the question of the day. Uh, young lady, you have been welcomed very well today. And they calling her by her whole name. She said her the name whole. is Andrea. They calling her by Keandria. Keandria. I guess that's how you would say that. Key Andrea, but she said, call me Andrea. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I had to move mm -hmm. to this campus. Facebook started tripping on me just now. Charles Gooden, I went over to YouTube. He done left the campus. He done left. Too much noise. You, yesterday, StreamYard was doing some crazy stuff. Did you see I just took me I away? I saw you went black at one point. Then I had to go in to eat. I said, because at first it wouldn't let me when I was clicking on um the stuff over here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't letting it wasn't going up, but I wasn't freezing. My internet was strong. No I, I don't I don't know, child. So anyway, let me get ready for the question of the all day. right. Question of the day, y'all. Let's go. Jam for the lamb. I'm not ready. Keep talking, please. Thanks. Jam, jam, jam. And yeah, in the shade yesterday, sister. Hold on a second. Yeah, you don't have to call you out. You you do the most. You are so unfair, but it's here's okay. the thing. He don't uh, like he don't even know he like he be acting like he didn't know he had to do this stuff. It's all running together. To the night of the it's night awesome. before. Less than 25. Hours. Thank God for text threads. How yeah. how a whole entire mm. breakfast take you by surprise? <laughs> that you supposed to be in. <laughs> this is how I, this what I was looking like when you was talking. I had one eye open. Under the bar. You was you sounded so refreshed when I called. I be trying. Hey, like what's up? You like, I wouldn't sound like that, but I be trying to not sound sleepy. I walked because Richard was was where I was yesterday. I and I said, Rich, I said when I walked in, I said, Rich, she got us now. Ain't nobody. He ain't checked in with nobody. He just he think cause he because he was where you were. That don't suffice. I say, Rich, you see them tie tracks on my face right now? <laughs> he was like, yeah. I said, I see them on yours, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, the other day when you said Anthony Stanford got the, he gets the most called out award, there were other people, and I must agree. I, we think Richard Miller gets the award. Rich? Anthony is the runner-up. Richard Miller, stay getting called out. For sure. He had a rough. He had a rough staff year this year. He had a rough evaluation. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, that end of the year will coming up. Will he be retained? We don't know. know. Cause Corinthians, be, Corinthians trying to take your spot. They supposed to be having a prayer vigil for don't him tomorrow. No, Corinthia <laughs> is edging you over at the way. You might become her assistant in twenty. Wow. Let me see what the Lord says. Y'all know the co-host over HR, yeah, so it ain't got nothing to do with that. You, Cheree, do you don't call or nothing. Cherie over HR, Rich. Uh, uh, so Then he tried to slide in. I saw your little comments last night. You know I get notifications, right? So he come in last night like he was already. Sorry, you wasn't in here. Stop lying. <laughs> Stop letting the devil use you. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all remember we used to play mom and dad. This, this is what we're doing now, first timer. She's like, what are they doing? We just playing like we playing house. That's all. We playing. We play it. So anyway, question of the day. We ready, sis. Let's go. Let's go. This is hilarious. Yo, Faith Room. What's my man? Andrea, if you in the room, come on. Come on, first time. Hey. Hey. Oh, meet up, 
gonna be crow. It's gonna be live as hell. Yeah, it's gonna be live. Y'all got me crying in here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, mine were doing that yesterday. I said, this only happens when I'm on here by myself. Okay, here's the question of the day. When you were a child, what did you want to be or do when you grew up? What did you say? When I grow up, I'm going to be a what? When I grow up, I'm going to do what? Let's see. Mm. And then I wonder, are you, are you doing it? I'm not. But let's see. <laughs> okay. A doctor. That's Jermaine. A lawyer. A lawyer. Veterinarian. <clears throat> Playing the NFL. That's Richard. An actress. I want to be a television news anchor. A lawyer. Professional football player. Choreographer. An actress. Nurse. Doctor. Then I saw blood. A teacher. Nurse. Pro baseball player. <laughs> Senate, court reporter. Hairdresser. Flight attendant. Chef. A fireman, parent, labor and delivery nurse, superhero. Uh, I always wanted to be famous. I can't read all of it. Beyonce, a dentist, a live librarian, counselor, secretary, astronaut, lawyer or teacher, surgeon, but not that. Oh, not I'm not that, but I'm in the medical field. A teacher, eye doctor, mm. a pediatrician, a nurse. Backstage dancer, medical lab tech, an actress, NBA, flight attendant, the president, flight attendant, mm -hmm. nurse, firefighter, a writer and a principal, a cashier, wow. court reporter, nurse. Speaking of that, the court reporter, Sheree, don't, those are people that yes. be doing it. What? So they type it in words, everything. So what's it called? A stenographer. Is that what they stenographer. like when I was in school, we used to have to take shorthand. This I know I'm, I'm dating myself. We had to learn how to write in shorthand in our business class because right. you had to write fast, like right. the court reporters. So I, I don't mm. so now they be talking in the thing, right? And it's telling it what to type. I don't know. That's crazy to me. A Shout name. out to everybody who do that because that looks like that's a class I wouldn't have made it through. Yes, they type shorthand. Okay, a Navy nurse. Uh, yep, everybody's talking about stenographer. A stenographer. Uh, teacher, an actress, a uh, traffic light installer. <laughs> hey, who said that? Charles Gooden. Um, so, what about you, Nate? When I was young, I always, for some reason, watch. I wanted to be a chef. Really? Yeah, I remember doing a paper on that because my grandmother used to. I used to love watching her cook. So did you ever get in there and cook? Um, I did home economics. Let me just say that. Shout out to Mister. They, they don't do it no more. I don't think. Yeah, and we didn't. We didn't cook until the last week of man. We ain't cook. What we ain't here for? All them stoves you know over there. Like, my home ec, bless her heart, and I was comparing her to so my mama was a home ec teacher. Okay, they was always cooking in her school, and all we did was at my school we made we did a hanger wrapped it in some yarn. We did a Kleenex box cover. We finally made an apron and a book bag. Ah, <clears throat> home ec cooking. We, so that took it away from me. I was like, nah. I but want then, to be a judge. Oh, to tell people what to do, you know. But I want to be a judge. Then I want to do hair. And my mama said, "You can do hair, but I still need you to go to college. I need you to have, you know, they always give you this speech. You need to have something to fall back on. Right, right, exactly. If <clears throat> that don't work, so I just kind of didn't even think about doing hair anymore." I uh, read in a magazine there are hairdressers and barbers who are very wealthy people, right? Yes, now. they are very wealthy people. Child, because you get to set your own prices, you know, your clientele. If you're really good, you you good. 
because they're going to be returning. But yeah, I, I wanted to do hair. Um, then of course, y'all, I was, I was the wild card. I don't know what you call it. So then when I, when I went to college, I did, I changed my major like five times. Five times. About four or five times. <laughs> Only, only to come back to what my mama said that I should have been doing in the first place. Communication, my mama right? Said, you should be a, you should make your mass come. Okay. Yep. I fit. Okay. I did everything but that. First, I went in psychology major. Then I changed it to sociology. Then I changed it to, um, I was a dental hygienist. <laughs> Dang, Sheree. Then I went to radiology technician. Money. I was doing a lot. Yeah. Let me tell y'all this. I mean, life would just have you everywhere. And some people went to college, did all that, and then not ended up in the profession that they studied for. Yeah. For so many years. So, and you know what? I think I was so bound and determined to not be a teacher mm -hmm. because my mom was a teacher. Kind of like PKs, right? I ain't going to be yeah, no. Yeah, I don't want to be no preacher. I don't want to be no teacher. And, and I said all of those things. And I'm doing both. I've been a teacher. I was a music teacher. Right. Shout out to Ridge Road Middle School. Ridge Road. Yes. And uh, of course, I'm still teaching even now. My job requires right. me to teach the people of God on a regular basis. It calls it, I have to write curriculums. I have to write lessons. So mm -hmm. I'm still doing what I'm called to do. Wow. Kind of like old Jonah running. I don't want to do running. Tashel said I changed my major five times too. See? What's business, that? Business, kinesiology, What's that? cosmetology, back to business, ended up in nonprofit leadership. What's kinesi what is kinesiology? And they got something to do with uh uh it has something to do with moving. I don't know if it's like physical, I don't know if it's on the therapy side or the uh, PE, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Oh, mm, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Money. Of stuff, yeah. money, money, All right. money. Yeah. All right, y'all. We way over time. I love talking to y'all. And so, we ain't talking. Woo, 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 Ridge Road. She with the Ridge Road. Okay. So, Cherie, great discussion kickoff yesterday. Um, yes. You rolled solo yeah. yesterday. Thanks. Yeah, and I love it. And listen to me, girl. That Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol took me and out. To my mind. I was like, wait a minute. Let me find it. Over. And I was like, this girl done closed with Paw Patrol. <laughs> yes. And if you got a little one, you know the theme song. Paw Patrol. Mm -hmm. Be there. Listen, they they there on the double. That's what that's what you need to look for in a real friend. Man, that was a great close yesterday. So listen, y'all. We're in a new discussion this week. I think it's very appropriate. Sheree and I were talking, I think she mentioned this yesterday, uh, and we're talking about making these uh, shifts in our life, changes in our lives. And one of the things that uh, came to my mind is our company and our connection yeah. that often hinder us from moving toward uh, our purpose. So we're, we're talking about what about your friends? And here's what I want you to know. Your connections matter. Mm -hmm. Cherie did a phenomenal job yesterday setting the tone Cherie that was a base scripture you used I think it was in Proverbs, Proverbs I want to just 20. recap it Proverbs 13 20 Very in the simple. New Living Translation okay walk with the wise and become wise but watch this if you associate with fools you're going to get in trouble right so Solomon wise man said that if you walk with wise people you're going to become wise wisdom yeah. But if you walk with fools, and I love what you said yesterday, Sheree, don't think that you're beyond being a fool. Yeah. Uh, don't think you're beyond not making um, choices based on the bad company and counsel that you're getting in your life. So Sheree set the tone yesterday. Sheree, the points you brought out yesterday, I want to just run through those really quick. It was more introduction that you have to choose carefully. Your process of choosing matter. We're going to talk about that today. Uh, as it relates to Jesus and how Jesus went through a selection process. But we have to choose carefully. I love it. Sure, sure ain't nothing else I can really say because you said no. it. Don't be so The Bible big. says, right, just because somebody interested in you 
the Bible says the righteous choose their friends carefully. Absolutely. We don't Absolutely. just, yeah, we all, we call everybody friend. No. Yeah, no. bro, sis, all that. You hit it. You hit it hard yesterday. The second point you made yesterday was uh, choose wisdom. Their influence matter uh, mm -hmm. matters. Uh, wise friends. Yeah. All right. People who are going to pour into you correctly, uh, give you um, the right advice. Right. Because all friends don't give us the right advice. No. And they I love the analogy that we came up with about that your life is, is you're inviting people to the, the table of your life. Come on. That's good. I mean, everybody doesn't earn the right to sit close. That's good. Because everybody ain't bringing wisdom to the table. Come on. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the third one on yesterday, I think you close here, choose reliability. Mm -hmm. And that's the Paw Patrol. That was the yes. close yesterday. Reliability. Sheree, yeah. that's important. You mentioned yesterday, sis, uh, people who um, always with their hand out. Uh, when they call, you know it's not to empower you. Right. It's but it's to try to get something from you. Right. And Faith Room, I've given you this small quote that I think is very powerful. You have to discern who wants more from you versus who wants more for you. For you. That's good. Right? Those are two things. Some want from you. So you are as good of a friend as they can get from you. Woo, that's versus good. The people, Cherie, who wants more for, for me. You. And if you want more for me, you're going to it's going to be reciprocated, man. Yes, that's I'm pouring, key. but you're pouring. Yes. I'm encouraging, but you're encouraging. I'm lit. You know, here's another thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay sometime at Olive Garden right. or Chick-fil-A or Burger King or, and then some, sometimes you just going to snatch the receipt and be like, I got it. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's, that's what friends do. Yeah. Child, I ain't got no money today. Come on. Well, come on. Come on. Girl, I'm, I'm on a budget. Well, come on, I got you today. And I think what's draining, Cherie, is that, and some of you are wondering, man, am I being bamboozled here? Because everybody's wanting from you. Mm -hmm. And you can't go into your 2024 with those type of people attached to you, man. Right. Um, so categorize them. Maybe they're just associates. Absolutely, Nate. Everybody don't get to don't get the title. And I said it yesterday. I think we yeah. just use the term too loosely. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not your friend. Mm -hmm. And then we've given you a few measuring tools, and we're gonna get more into it today. Uh, but I love the fact that you have to know it's a reciprocating process. Right. And so I mentioned like yesterday, if every time we do go out or every time we do get ready to go on a trip, you never have money. Never. Every Sometimes we're gonna we're gonna help you, but at some point, because I'm your friend, I'm gonna have to pull you to the side and say, "Look, you got what can we got? How can I help you get your your budgeting together? Because this this That's ain't good. it." That's good, Sheree. I'm not gonna keep enabling you because if I always come through and keep paying for you all the time, you ain't gonna never see the what's what's gonna be the need to get your life together. Because Sheree gonna always step in. Nope. Nope. So, Cherie, what's the, and then we're going to get in. Y'all stay with us. Get your notepad ready. What, what what would be your top three qualities in a friend? What make what makes you call somebody your friend? What quali qualities for you stand out for you? Um, Integrity. Okay. Um, Define that in your words. You are who you say you got who you are. Okay. Like you ain't switching up on me. Um, you're true to who you say. If you you go, you do what you say you're gonna do. And Keep if you can't, okay. If you can't, then you you let me know. You know it ain't all that. I ain't. I promise you something, but then I don't show up. I don't come through. That's the reliability. So I guess that's integrity, reliability. All that goes into one packet. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. um, I gotta say, I, yeah, reliability. Somebody I can depend on. But I need people in my, especially at this point in my life, I need women and, and, and men around me who are empowering. Mm -hmm. I need people who can pour into me. I need people in my life who have wisdom. That's good. That I, can speak. I don't want, you know, it's 
Who wants to always be the, the smartest person in the group? Who Come wants on. to always be the go-to person? That that's draining. Come on, Sheree. Now, when you, you know, maybe if you're in you and you in your 20s and 30s, that's that's good, that's spectacular. I'm the smartest one. But no, it gets to a point when you when life started hitting, I need somebody that I can just find solace in. Yes, I go to God, but I need a friend that will just hear me out. I need a friend that will say, okay, try this way. Don't do that. Do That's it good, like sure. So I the wisdom. That's so good. I love it. Honest, honest, uh, kind, not stagnant. I'm just looking at um, Travis said, uh, dependable, reliable, loyalty, Shimmy said, uh, Travis said, a true friend is someone that tells me the truth and not just what I want to hear and someone that can disagree with me without being offended or aggressive. And I think that's a good measuring um, point there, Travis. My real friends, you know, my real friends, mm -hmm. disagreements doesn't call fallout. No. Every five minutes, you ain't blocking and deleting and saying this thing. I can't deal with that, bro. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I don't. Friends disagree. Uh, can I tell y'all this too, Sheree? Let me just thank you, Holy Ghost. Even if you find the one, the one, the one, you've been waiting on the one. I've been praying for the one. You still going to have issues. With Absolutely. The one. Friends don't mean yes, people. And the, I, and I, I'm my like, own person. You are your own person. Man, listen. We have two, two trains of thoughts on, on things at some point. Absolutely. But but yeah, Sheree, bro, we don't ever we ain't never fell out, but we don't always agree. We don't, but Sheree, that's the point. We don't always agree. We don't fuss publicly and privately. Disagree. <laughs> right. But it ain't personal. It ain't never led to a fallout in all these years. So I, I, I get up and down, but I'm gonna block you today because I'm that you gotta you emotionally unstable. You can't be my friend. Friends don't, and I, I think y'all need to know that your real friend. It's that it's that scene on uh uh lean on me when him and old boy got into that fight, Mr. Clark in the in the in the superintendent. I told you I wasn't doing that, and I'm gonna be in, and I'm in it, and if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Then he said, let's go to lunch. That's it. Let's Whoa. go. Eat. So you get on my nerves, you hungry. Come on. What are we going to eat? I hope y'all getting what we're saying. Because some if you got to block somebody every other day, you don't like them every other day, you talking about them to other people. That, that ain't no friendship. Yeah. That ain't that's an associate who get on your nerve. That ain't no friend. Because my friends get on my nerve. I get on their nerve, but we riding, baby. We riding from wheels all off. That's what's up. I don't even block those who not my friends. You're gonna watch me be great. <laughs> Look at all this. Yeah. yeah. Are y'all getting what we throw? He says okay. I'm getting it. That's what I like. La Larry Shields said, like-minded, God-fearing, disciplined, uh, to motivate oh, one right. another to be y'all. Y'all gotta get your list together, man, yeah. on what you're looking for. Uh, you gotta do that. So let's go into this new discussion. I think that was your last point yesterday, Sheree. It was. Okay, so y'all listen. I wanna I wanna say this that if you're gonna me me if we're going to get this thing together called connection, company, friendship, relationship. Um, I want to start here today, Sheree, because I, I and I think y'all done heard it enough. Uh, it starts with your mind. Mm -hmm. Make up your mind that you want a better group of people in your life yeah who you can call your true and trusted friend now what pastor Nate, why are you going here because listen y'all if you don't want it if you want to still hang with the same fools right you said it yesterday sheree you, you got nine you're you gonna be fool number 10 gonna be 10 yep be 10 so you so my question is y'all are you sure are you confident that you want a new community, you want a new circle. Are you, I told Greater Life on Sunday, one quality about a good iPhone or smartphone is that there's a directory within the directory and you can literally, Sheree, have favorites in your phone. Mm -hmm. Favorites, those who you communicate with the most. But however, right. 
even with that option, with favorites, you have the capability of removing and rearranging. Wow. See, everybody, y'all, in the next season of your life, some of them don't need to be removed, but they do need to be rearranged. rearranged. You have them in the wrong Come position. On. That's good. So you got to make up your mind, do they need to be removed or do they need to be rearranged? And let me say this, y'all, for the sake of being like Christ, removing people don't mean it has to be messy right. and you got to dog them out and talk about them. No, man. Removing people just simply says where I'm going and where you're going just don't mess right now. Right. And I know that where I'm going is too valuable to be, listen, uh, threatened by where you're going. So I'm choosing to remove you from this space so that I can get to where I'm going and you can get to where you're going. Sheree, yeah. that makes sense to me. That makes perfect sense. We ain't got to throw salt. We ain't got to throw shade. We ain't got to make yeah, other people. Mean. You know, I, and, and I'm, I want Sheree, Kadrick, PKJ, I want Sheree not to like Nate because I don't like him. So let me call her. No, it didn't work for you and Nate or it didn't work for Sheree and her, but it doesn't mean that so look what I'm saying. Remove, it don't mean I don't like them. It, it, that's what I'm saying. You just don't fit right now. We make removing so messy though. <clears throat> we do. We make it messy, and we gotta be like our own food. And, and your friends ask you, "Well, what what happened to so and so?" That's when we start throwing gas. What your own food with no more? Come see here today. Just say you know what we were just going in two different directions. Two different directions. We got two things, two different things on our mind. And I like the way you said you. It can they can be rearranged, you know. I, I think about that table. Come on, you might have maybe you at one point you were sitting right here, but now I'm gonna move your seat over there. Absolutely, still at the table, you're still around, but you don't get to be in the inner circle, you're not in no. the trusted inner circle. In That's this, so good. that's so good, Sheree. That's so, so good. All right. So here's here's the thing on making up your mind. Put up these scriptures. I want two scriptures, y'all. I want to give you Psalm 119, 115. Now, note these are real people making real statements. Notice. Notice this statement from David. Away from me, you evildoers. Notice his tone now. Watch, watch it. That I may keep the commandments of my God. You know what he's doing? He made up his mind. He made a declaration with his mouth. See, watch this, y'all. When your mind is made up, your mouth will express what's in your mind. They'll match. So what comes out of your mouth starts in your heart. So David has it in his heart that, you know what? This circle right here, they keep doing stuff that I've kind of moved away from. And I'm saying with my mouth, I, listen, I believe it to be so. So I'm going away from me, you evil do it. Yes. Even to the point, Cherie, not only is he reminding himself, but he's letting them know. Rightfully so. Right no Rightfully so. Here's why, though, Cherie, because I want to do what? I got to, <laughs> I want to follow God in this season. Yeah, and, and you, you, doing you this, this where I'm trying to go. This ain't getting me where I'm trying to go. This ain't this ain't helping me. Uh -uh. Y'all, I hope y'all getting this. Here's another scripture, Sheree, and, 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 and then we'll get into the meat today. All right. Um, so read Psalm 26, Sheree. Give, give, give a little commentary on this one for me, sis. Psalm 26, verses 4 and 5. Yeah. I do not sit with the deceitful, nor do I associate with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and I refuse to sit. Is that, is that it? Is that where it stops? That's it. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I was trying to see what I, my commentary, because I remember writing that in my Bible. That's a good so, one, too. Yeah. I think we talked about this psalm, didn't we? At one point, we did. Yep. Uh, psalm it's a reminder. Psalm 26. Uh, so this is he's this is a prayer, but he's still making a declaration. Hold on, let me let me see what this right here is talking about. Verses four and five. I do not. So when he said, "I don't sit with men of um deceit who are deceitful," that means I don't I don't make a posture of um. This is not how I'm gonna live. This because sitting is an indicative of ease and comfort. Yes, yes. So I'm yes. not I'm not gonna allow myself to be comfort 
among people who are deceitful. He says, neither do I associate with, or my Bible says, consort with people who are hypocrites. So these, these things, being deceitful, being hypocritical, these are not things that are going to get me where I'm trying to go. So David is saying in this, in this Psalm, that's good, Sheree. I'm not going to, this ain't going to be a way of life for me. Maybe it once was, but at this moment, I'm making a declaration. It won't, it won't be anymore. I won't find myself at ease around these people. And it started in, in their mind. I had to make a decision. I'm making a declaration today. So no matter whether you used to hang out with these people, whether you used to find comfort uh, and ease around this type of uh, commotion, at this point, I have decided this is not going to get me to my destination. That's so so it's away with it. Oh, my God. Um, so I thought about if I'm going to follow a pattern or a uh, example the best example I know is that of Jesus Christ. Christ. That's good. He says, I, in fact, I left 1 Peter 4, 12. 1 Peter 4, he says, I left you an example. I think it's 21, that you should follow my ways. So my question is, what example did Jesus leave us faith room when it came to choosing his connections. I want to talk about that today. And, and, and I want to give you two points today. And we're going to go. I mean, y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to go. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Listen, but two things that I need you to do. The first thing I need you to see is that Jesus recognized the importance of his purpose. You must recognize the importance of your purpose. All right. Now we're going to read. These scripts are not coming up, right, Ray? No, oh, I'll let's be. read. Let's read Luke four, one and two. The first step is you recognize the importance of your purpose, where you're going, what God put in you. Purpose. Yeah. Purpose. From the foundation of the world, y'all, you were formed with purpose. Mm -hmm. I said, let me, Sheree, before you read, let me just say that again. Y'all, you were not born just to exist. No, you were created happened? with purpose. Yeah. There is something in you that needs to be fulfilled in the earth. Come on. And when you recognize your purpose, I have to guard it, Rich. Glory to God. That's, oh, please say that again. When you I recognize, God. Pastor Sheree, my <laughs> purpose and I know for a fact this is what God called me to do I guard it with everything in me Jesus that part and the problem y'all people are leading us people are taking us places people are telling us to turn left and we turn go right and we turn right but when you know your purpose Ooh. you cannot be manipulated and easily moved by other voices. Cherie, I know my purpose. Good. That's so good. I know what God called me to do. Whether you like it or not, it's my purpose. My purpose. And Cherie, I believe some people are missing it because yeah. they don't even know why they exist. They don't even believe in themselves. Which is why we go for every every new thing that come along. Every Everything somebody say, we grabbing it. Because we don't know our purpose and we don't understand that what they saying to you, that's not even the path that's destined. That ain't going to get you where you going. That's the opposite direction. And, and that's one of the things I'm going to say. And I think it's a good, that's why y'all, when when you, you got to get it in you. Because if you don't get it in you, social media have you crazy and all over the place. Because everybody got something they want to pour into you and they right. pour into me. And, and if I don't know my purpose, I run to every wind of doctrine. Yes, that's Bible. So I got to no, no, man, this is not me. That's not me. I've had to tell people before about my life through the years. You you know what? You got it wrong, bro. That That's not me. And that's not for me. Yeah. See, I see. I can see you. No, I, I mean, God ain't told you that, dog. Nah. 
Y'all ain't told you that, man. Because because y'all, you, and it's not being defensive, but it is standing. I'm defending what I know God told me. And I'm put guarding it, it. That's what you did. You got, we got to guard it. Guard it. So don't let nobody keep changing your mind and keep telling you. That's why you confuse everybody telling you. Ooh, your this is good. That's so good, Nate. Sheree, everybody That's telling you what you ought to be doing, where you should be at, where you should, who you should be with, why you should do it that way. Go here first. Do that first. Do that. Ooh, my Lord. This is so real because it's happening today. I've been there, man. People had me so confused about my life and what I should do and where I should go and Ooh. I shouldn't go and what I should. And, 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 and I, Y'all, you got to know. And here's what Jesus teaches us first. I knew my purpose. Mm. So before there's a selection process and before I choose my squad, I got to know what's in me. Come on. Woo. Because I might mess around and choose the wrong people. That's it, Sheree. That's not, again, that's taking from me. Not going to get me where I can't get that term. It ain't getting me where I'm trying to go. See, we're picking before identifying our purpose. We're doing preference over purpose. Woo! What I want, what I like, what I think it should be. Well, guess what it ain't about? What you want. Come it's on, about Sheree. his will and what he has placed us in the earth to do in this season. Luke 4, 1 and 2. Read it, Sheree, And then 14 and 15. And y'all, we got we to gotta go. 1 and 2 says, and Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the spirit in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by the devil. And he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. Verse 14. Listen to a purpose. 14 says, and Jesus returned in the power of the spirit to Galilee and the report about him went out through all the surrounding country. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified by all. Now, here's what Jesus is saying. There's a scripture that speaks in Matthew 3 that he was endorsed by the Father. As soon as he was baptized by John, mm -hmm. he comes out of the water. Hear the words. This is my beloved son yep. in whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. Right? So before Jesus even began his earthly ministry, he was endorsed and confirmed by the father. Right. He has purpose on his life and he's coming. Jesus even said it to seek and to save those who are lost purpose. Yeah. So he goes into this isolation. He, he, he separates himself mm -hmm. for a moment. Notice y'all, he ain't picked nobody. He ain't started no uh, a selection process. He didn't put no ad out. I'm looking for help. He got alone with God uh, in an isolated home. place. Yep. And he found what he needed to do for the kingdom of God. Can I tell you, Faith Room, this, man? I feel this in my spirit, man. Some of y'all ain't been isolated long enough to even hear Hello. God do what you ought to be doing in your life. Woo! You ain't isolated enough to hear. That's why you can't find your purpose. It ain't found on social media, man. It's not. Go back to your vet's comment. I'm sorry, Cherie. Uh, uh, she said, this is a great reason why being a God pleaser, not a people pleaser, is key. Humans don't have to say in who we are. Don't They don't have a say in who we are and who we're not. We're not. How do I find that though, Yvette? I isolate myself. That's it. I hear the voice of God. Mm -hmm. I go through the greatest battles of my life because Jesus exactly. was endorsed. He goes to an isolated wilderness to be tempted of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because here's what I've learned, Cherie. Your purpose will always be tested. Come on. Come on. And God says, before you go out here messing up other people's life, let me make sure you have power to stand in your purpose. So look at the process. He's endorsed by the Father, what, baptized by John, endorsed uh -huh. by the Father, and led into the wilderness by the Spirit. Who beats him? Yeah. 
Let me see if you're really walking with your purpose. You're trying to get all these other people on your squad, but 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 let me see what you let, let me see what you got. That's it. Let me read Richard. Jesus uh, was so locked in. He told his own mama, I must be about my father's business. Then when she wanted him to help out at the wedding, he said, it's not my time. He knew his purpose. His purpose. That I ain't going to even let my mama mess with it. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Can I ask y'all a question? Who messing with your purpose? Who's got you all over the place in your mind? Who's got you confused? Wow. You done changed your mind 18 times this year and we still got time in the year left. That's good. All right. So 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 here's the second one. We're gonna close right here. But then he let, let it be known that when he came out of that, oh. he came out in power, walking in power, knowing his purpose, and the Bible says. His focus was doing what? Teaching in the synagogue. Come on. So he came out with clar clarity. I know what I'm supposed to come out doing. I don't come out this time with God and then still go out and do what I want to do. Come on, Sheree. He gives us the power in our time of isolation with him to come out and perform or do what he has called us to do. Amen. See, y'all, don't despise your season of isolation. Mm-mm. Because your season of isolation is tied to a season of preparation. My Lord, come on. You got to spend like Moses. You got to be on the backside of the mountain exactly. 40 years because not because God has forgotten you, but, be, but that God is preparing you. Yeah, got to download some stuff. Come on, quit trying to be noticed. Quit trying to be seen. Y'all know people like that, Sheree. Just I trying. Do. You want people to see you. No, God said that's the problem. You want to be seen and not prepared. What good is to be seen and you make a flop? You know what? I'm gonna stop right here today. I ain't even getting into point two today. Okay. But I, I think I want to drive this point. Get alone, y'all. Log off this dog on social media for at least a day, two days, a month. And find what God has called you to do. Because you, you'd be surprised so how so many people have no clue what they're supposed to be doing. I, some people don't know what their purpose is. Just See, interesting. I'm thinking about this, Sheree, because we want to build a community. And we want these people to join us on our journey, but the problem is we don't even know where we go. We don't. So how do people help you in community if you don't even know where you're going? Because community- How do I help? Me. Right, that's good. It don't dictate what I do. <sighs> hey, girl, I'm a grown man who know God for myself. Mm -hmm. I got power and you got power. Sheree, a grown woman who know God for herself. Mm -hmm. So community is not coming in to dictate. They're coming in to stand in support of. Yes. What I already know I should be doing. Not They're not dictating me. Support. <laughs> I don't know how many times, Rich, pastors in here. I, I've been in the ministry a long time. I've been pastoring six years. I don't know how many times people have pushed me out the, the hoop and they shut it down, Nate. Shut it down. Hoop. I've never hooped a day in my life. I'm who I am. Right. I am Pastor Nate. I'm Big Nate. I'm Nate Dog. I'm Nate. And ain't nobody change. And God will breathe on your purpose when you walk in your authenticity. Yeah. Be you. Be you. And Sheree, what? Be you, bro. <laughs> That's it. Be you, Everybody sis. Taken. Everybody else is taken. Be you. Why am I saying that, Sheree? Because if you don't, you're going to be up there sounding like a fool. I'm here to support you in who you are. Don't yeah. make me who you want me to be. That's good. Be you. Because you know what? You sound like a fool when you're trying to represent somebody you're not. 
Then you hear people out here, just go out here and do what you, do you, do you, do you, do you. But here's the thing. I'm only doing me based on my instruction from God. From him. Yes. I'm not out here oh. really living. That's so good. Any thoughts, Sheree? I'm, this is just good to me, sis, because I, 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 we are afraid of isolation. We are afraid of being alone. Yeah. Hearing the voice of God. for Y'all, we got too much riding on this season. This, I think, I don't know why the silence scare us so much. Just getting along with God. Yeah. Reading. The best day of my life, I went, I do it every year. I got a room, a hotel room locally away. Mm -hmm. I've done this in every city I've been at, Sheree. And God gave me instruction, don't turn on your TV and only deal with your family if that phone rings as it relates to just making sure that your family is safe. And to sit in that room with your word, no, it ain't no girl night, it ain't no fellas night. Right. In fact, I'm so real about it. I, I took the remote downstairs to the front desk and said, ma'am, I'll never forget it was a lady. She was looking like, are you? I said, can you just keep this down here? I'm trying something. I'm, I'm, I'm doing an experiment to see if I can go without watching TV. And I'm telling you, when you get quiet with God, come on, he'll tell you what you need to do with your life. He'll tell you who you need to do it with. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Three, have you ever had moments where you just turned it off? I have to. That I mean, that's just my natural makeup anyway. I can't concentrate with other stuff going on. You have to shut it down. I have to shut everything down. Come on, sis. To be able to comprehend, to understand. So it, when I'm reading my Bible, it has to be complete silence. So my friends laugh at me. They tell me, and you know, my pastor's like, this is a sign you're getting old. But in the mornings, I love to get up, sit in silence, have my coffee and just contemplate, meditate, read my Bible. That's so good, Sheree. But I long for those moments because so much of my life is spent on the go, on the go, doing stuff while I'm doing something else. It is in those moments when I get to sit still, get up, go in the front, sit, now grab my blanket, get my Bible, have a cup of coffee. That's it. Just me and God. That sounds peaceful, Ray. It is. It's it. I long for it. How many live do we have right now? One sixty-one. Listen, y'all. Listen to me. Try it over the next few days. Kim says she' about to do it right now. Get 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 a get a hotel because some of y'all the house is distracting to you. It ain't got to be out of town. Do it locally and just go in there and just hear God. Mm -hmm. You want to go get you something to eat? Do that. I ain't saying lock up for five days and don't do nothing. Go down to that. <laughs> don't go get you some food. But I'm just saying, get in that still place. Yeah. Because everybody's isolation time is different. So I'm not saying mirror mine or Pastor Cherie's, but get quiet. And these doggone things right here. Distraction. The biggest distraction ever. These doggone phones. Turn them off. Shanika mm -hmm. said, in order for me to get clarity, I need quiet time. Listen to praise me to dim my Bible and read it until the scriptures touches my soul. You remember when Shanika first came in here? And I'm just looking at how she's been consistent. Yeah. And faithful. Shanika. Praise God. All right. Y'all, this is going to be good stuff. And ain't nobody mad but the enemy because what we're doing is being intentional about making sure you make the personal steps be more before you make your public. Come on. Come on. What do you call it? What am I saying, Sheree? Your public. Uh, 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 this debut, you won't. Your debut, that's it. Let God deal with you in private before you make your public debut. Because if you're not prepared, Ooh, God. you can turn into a disaster. Because now you're before the people. Mm -hmm. And let, if you had let God help you, 
he could have fixed some stuff. But now you you sold Zellius to get out and be and won't be seen. Now you're out there and you don't know what you're doing. But you got an audience. And so people are watching you disintegrate because you don't know. And, and leading people astray. And here's the thing for everybody who want to pass, listen, when you finish that benediction on Sunday, you got to pay them bills on Monday. And then hospital visits. It's bigger than just Sunday morning, brother, sister. It looks glamorous, huh? It's bigger. When I was on staff three in my role, like you, EP, executive pastor, I, I would I would always ask my pastor, what we gonna do? Now hundreds are asking me, Pastor, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? It's on you now. That and 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 y'all listen, I can now hear why I had that time of preparation. Cause this season was coming. So don't despise what you're going through in your because because when you get under these lights and everybody it... mm -mm -mm. are you ready for that? Jesus. That's all I got, Sheree. Um Y'all pray as I get right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did Bishop Trout say? Sunday is the wow. Monday through Saturday is the woe. <laughs> and we, all y'all see is them coming out on stage on Sundays. You have no idea the hell mm -hmm. that they they that they just walked out of. All the stress and the worry and the concern. <sighs> you gotta know you per because because people don't give you grace at all. People don't give you grace. So when you find your purpose, man, you gotta know sometimes it's gonna be lonely because people still want you to be there for them. Every even day. Your, every day. Even Not in your world. Not reciprocating. Oh, when y'all doing this, how many of y'all still be praying for your pastor? <laughs> you Lordy. When you in distress, you want him to drop, him or her, to drop everything they got going on to come see about you. The old pastor Nate used to worry about that, but now y'all can have all this dog. <laughs> I ain't finna kill myself. And I got another pastor who will say amen in here. <laughs> it's just too much on the line. No, there people but when that you know your purpose, though, Cherie. You're not gonna let people who walk away, people who you're gonna stand true to your purpose. <laughs> so y'all get here tomorrow and we're gonna keep pressing this thing, be it the Lord will. We love you and we appreciate you. Let me pray for Cherie. Father, thank you for laughter and thank you, God, for real transparent conversation. Yes, Lord. God, Sheree and I heard from you, uh, and we are executing this content based on your voice and your direction and your leading. God, I pray for every person in this faith room who have a struggle in this season with their purpose, not knowing what they need to do, where they need to do it at, when they need to do it. So help us to know, God, first, before we decide on the who to do it with, Yes. Lord. Help us to identify what you would want us to do. Hallelujah. Now that we do that, God, now we can bring in a team to help us walk that thing you revealed out. Hallelujah. I pray over the next 50 days, you would give clarity and you would give direction to all of us. Do we move or do we stay? Yes, Lord. Do we say yes or do we say no? Do we start it now or do we wait? God, do we or don't we? God, we need you to speak. Yes, Lord. If we acknowledge you, your word says you will. Thank you, Lord. There's a way that seem right. Yes. But the end are ways of death. We need to hear you, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. So help us to turn down the noise of the world and down the noise of people we claim are our friends down the noise of our parents and down the noise of everybody giving us advice so that we can hear from heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Help us, God. Speak Help to us, us, Lord. Help us. 
Speak to us, Lord. Lord, Tell us, Lord. Yeah. Reveal yes. to us, Lord. Yes, Lord. So that we can walk out our purpose. We lift up our brother Anthony. Yes. That these lab results are favorable. Yes, Lord. We pray for Mimi Thompson. We pray for Jamal. We pray for all those in this space who's dealing with sickness and who's dealing with pain in their bodies. Yes, Lord. Now unto him who's able to protect us and to keep us from falling. Now to him who's able to present us faultless. Yes, Lord. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now and forever in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Y'all have a great day. Take care. Be blessed. Bye.